Hello children, once again, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share price elasticity of supply with you. We have already studied law of supply. What is law of supply state? Law of supply states that when price increases, supply increases, and when price decreases, supply decreases. That is price and supply, they are positively related. When one increases, the other increases, and when one decreases, when price decreases, supply decreases. So it is a qualitative statement. That is, it says the direction of change. That is both increase or both decrease. But law of supply does not say how much change in quantity supplied will be brought by the change in its price. Suppose price increases from 90, rupees 90 to rupees 100. Okay. But initially the supply is, suppose 60. So how much will supply increase? Will it increase 70, 80? Law of supply doesn't say. Law of supply says that when price is increasing, supply will increase. But law of supply does not say exactly how much will it increase. So how much is answered by elasticity of supply. It is a quantitative statement. That is, elasticity of supply says states exactly what will be the change. So price elasticity of supply gives the magnitude of change in supply. Let us see the definition of price elasticity of supply. It refers to the degree of responsiveness of quantity supplied of a commodity to a change in its price. That is when the price changes, how much will the quantity supply change? That is answered by price elasticity of supply. Price elasticity of supply varies from zero to infinity and it is a unit free measure. We will see how the degrees of price elasticity of supply. Then we will see how does it vary from zero to infinity. And it is a unit free measure. That is, uh, it is not measured in rupees or kilograms or any other unit is not attached to it. It is a unit free measure. Price elasticity of supply, the formula is given as percentage change in the quantity supply divided by percentage change in the price. So percentage change in the quantity supply is del QS by QS multiplied by 100 because change is always del QS divided by QS, that is initial quantity multiplied with 100. And percentage change in price, del P by initial price multiplied by 100, 100, 100 gets cancelled out, del QS in the numerator and del P is in the denominator. And this P will go in the numerator, so it is multiplied P here and QS will come in the denominator, so P by QS. And elasticity, price elasticity of supply, it is a positive number because we are seeing price elasticity of demand, it is negative, but price elasticity of supply is a positive number because price and quantity supplied are positively related, so it is a positive number. Now we come to degrees of price elasticity of supply. The first is perfectly inelastic supply. We know elasticity of supply, the formula is this. So here in perfectly inelastic supply, the elasticity is zero. I will tell you why. Because here del QS, that is percentage change in quantity is zero. That's why since the numerator is zero, the entire elasticity of supply is zero. Because here, in this case, there is no supply change whatever with the price. You can see that this supply curve, which is a straight line parallel to the y-axis. So here, whatever with the price, suppose at this price or this price or any price, the supply curve remains fixed at this point. That is, the quantity supply remains fixed. This type of situation happens in the case of rare paintings old painting stamps, coins, where supply cannot be increased even if the price increases to a great extent because there is only one. Suppose in case of an old painting, maybe there is only one painting. So even if price increases to a greater extent, the supply cannot be increased. So here, percentage change in quantity is zero. That's why if we use the formula, del QS is zero because there is no change in quantity supply. That's why EP is zero. That is price elasticity of supply is zero since limit is zero. Now we come to perfectly elastic supply. Here the 
value is infinity since the denominator is zero. Because here the formula is, we know this del qs by del p multiplied with p by qs. Because this price remains constant. Now, if price is constant, del p is zero. So something by zero is infinity. That's why here the value is infinity. Here in this situation, the curve is a straight line parallel to the x-axis. Here the price remains fixed and the producers, they are willing to supply an infinitely large quantity at the price OP. Okay, the price remains fixed. In fact, this happens rarely because when price increases, the producers don't increase it. The, when the price increases, the producers don't accept it. This is not possible. Right? So this is a rare situation, but it is a benchmark. That's why we study this. Here the price is fixed and it is a straight line parallel to the x-axis. Moving on to another situation. Unitary elastic supply, elasticity of supply is one here. Because del Q by del P is equal, that is percentage change in quantity supply is exactly equal to the percentage change in price. Here the curve is a straight line going to the origin. You can see here the percentage change in quantity and percentage change in price is equal. You can see Q to Q and there's the same gap. And here also we have the same gap. So when you're drawing it in the exam, you should make sure that Q to Q1 and P to P1, there's the same gap same equal amount of gap. And this is the elasticity of supply is one because we know the formula del QS by del P multiplied with P by Q. So if del QS and del P they are equal, that's why elasticity of supply is one. Now we come to elastic supply where the percentage change in quantity supplied is greater than the percentage change in price. And that's why elasticity of supply is greater than one. Now here, 60 to 100, the quantity supplied is increasing from 60 to 100. Here also price is increasing, but it is increasing by a lesser amount, 80 to 106. So here is 40 and here it is and around 26. So percentage change in quantity supplied is greater than the percentage change in price. And any supply curve that cuts the y-axis has elastic supply. When we are drawing it in the exam, we should make sure that it cuts the y-axis. Because if you take any point on this curve, which cuts the y-axis, you will get elasticity of supply greater than 1. So moving on to inelastic supply, where elasticity of supply is less than 1. And here, the line should cut the x-axis. So you should draw it in the exam in such a way, so that it almost cuts the x-axis. So here percentage change in quantity supplied is less than the percentage change in price. You can see that the quantity supplied has increased from 60 to 64. That is just four units. But here sub price has increased from 80 to 106. That is 26. So here percentage change in supply is less than the percentage change in price. So when we are drawing it in the exam, we should make sure that it is approximately cuts the x axis. So here elasticity of supply is less than one. On any point on this curve, elasticity of supply will be less than one. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye-bye. Have a great time.